All right, hello? Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm really close to the microphone. My bad. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> that was weird. Any sound that comes out of there? Looks like I got to do a little bit of testing here, so... Yeah. The, this whole time, <laughs> this whole time the stream was mute. I wasn't aware until I got back from my coffee. So, yeah. That totally wasn't awkward. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, I got some water this time. Well, yeah, no, I've, I've got both my coffee and a glass of water. Which, believe it or not, is a pretty, uh, kind of an important combination when you think about it. If not lemon water. Um, because I've been told this a few times. I'm going to go ahead and transition this here so that way I can read the chat. Um... Well, it can be read from anybody who watches it on, you know, YouTube and shit. But no, um, the thing about coffee or caffeine is that, from what I've uh, been informed about, is that caffeine, even though it's supposed to give you a speed in your nervous system, it also shrinks down your blood vessels and you don't get as much blood flow. And because you don't get as much blood flow, it makes you really tired. So by drinking water, it helps you know, swell up the blood vessels, and you still get that caffeine flowing through you. Uh, some people like to use um, certain uh, fruit elements, most like um, mostly uh, citrus stuff, like lemon and such. You correct me if I'm mistaken on this. Um, that must be why I tired a lot. Yeah, uh, night, if you're going to have coffee, take some water with you. Take some good old H2O. Uh, some people have, you know, their different preferences on what kind of water they do. Whether it's lemon water or something out of, uh, you know, helping out your, you know, your blood vessels. See, I have water and a lot of sweet treats. Okay, good for you. <laughs> I always wanted to go to dance. I've just never had the chance to. Yeah. I think everybody wants to go to dance. H2O Delirious? Hmm. Do I drink any tea? Yes, but not as often as I do with coffee. Um, sometimes I like um, different flavors of green tea. You know, there's always ordinary, you know, good old-fashioned green tea. Um, these days, whenever I like to have tea, I like to have it with honey instead of sugar. Because honey has a much more natural uh, taste than sugar. I mean, tea is supposed to be better for you in like in many ways. And if you're just throwing sugar in there, it's counterintuitive. Whereas coffee, if you drink black coffee, that's one thing. But if like for the most part, I put both cream and sugar in it, which is very unhealthy to have. But I do it anyway because black coffee in and of itself is so bitter. It's like... <sighs> um, Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, you know, you sometimes have to create some compromises if you want to be healthier. Uh, do I like hot chocolate? Hell yes. Um, I gotta get ready to pull certain things out. In fact, um, actually, do I have the wrong one yet? I I'm thinking out loud. Uh, let's see here. Because I got to, like, prepare something and, you know, have a game, you know, playing for the time being. Uh, where the fuck did I put it? No, no, that's not it. Do, do, do. Probably got that. Hmm. I guess I don't have it yet. No, 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 not that. Um, Brad's through a couple of folders here. Let me check where all the other games are. Let me check under here. Scroll down a bit. Okay, so I do have that. Okay. You know, I've got a good number of, like, NES games that I could play through. So, for whatever it is that I'm going to play, um, some of which will be just for humor's sake, but for the most part, I'm 
being selective on whatever games I go through. It's like, did you see this screenshot comic I posted in the DM? I'll have to take a look at that in a bit. Um, in the meantime, let me... Okay, so apparently the NES is already booted up. Um, let me get other elements prepared, so that way, you know, I'll be ready on what games to stream. J Prime, you had a question for me. Okay, well, feel free to ask me that question. Castlevania. Okay, first of all, voice, I've already streamed that last year, and second, I can't play that game for shit. So, yeah. I think maybe this can be shrunken down a bit. I gotta give it a little test run on that alert box. Let me just go ahead and... Why am I even being picky here? I could just... Let me just reopen it and it'll just be in a normal window size. Play Slender. I can't play 3D games, unfortunately. Not until I get, you know, that fucking powerhouse computer. Um, original Splatterhouse. Isn't that on, um, what was it? Turbo Graphics. Like, it, wasn't it originally on the Turbo Graphics system? I'll have to find an emulator for that at some point. No, I'm not pulling out that. Uh, here we go. This is just me, you know, speaking out loud or thinking out loud on, you know, what elements to bring out for, you know. What the hell? Why don't I see anything? Oh. I'm a dumbass. Those were two windows at the same time. Fuck. Alright. I don't need to panic. I can always, um... Either that or Neo Geo. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget. The Neo Geo had its own console. Expensive as fuck, though. Very, very large in its, um... What is it called? Mega Power? I've watched GameSack, uh, for those who don't get the reference. Oh, I need to sign out here because... Uh, I'm thinking out loud. i got to sign off of si uh, Skype because it uses up too much uh, CPU. Let's see. Ask Golden, have you ever read or watched any God of War-related topics? No, I have not. Let's see, what about Ghosts and Goblins? The thing about Ghosts and Goblins, as well as the rest of the entries, I want to actually get legit good at those ones, because I've been so determined to finish Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the SNES one day. But, mm, that last fucking stage. Like, obviously you have to play the game twice. Each installment, you have to play the game twice. And it's fucking bullshit. But regardless, you have to go and get, you have to go through to the last stage a second time and upon doing so you have to get the goddess's bracelet a take on this one boss who has so many multiple advantages you have to have mad reflexes it takes a fucking miracle to take on the bastard i forgot what his name was but he's such a pain in the ass so yeah um it'll be a while before you know i make the decision of <gasps> Not that, <laughs> you know, actually streaming the game and actually getting good at it. So that way I'll be much more prepared. Like, I have no problem going through a majority of the game. But, mm, that last boss, man, fucking hell. Whoever does, like, whoever designed that, you know, that obstacle is a sick bastard. And I see we have a, uh, we have a Kieran in the, uh, in the chat. Um, oh yeah, there's one more thing I needed to bring out. No, not that. Uh, where is that damn thing? Where's the alert box? Oh yeah, that's right, it's up here. Uh, oh, Clock Tower SNES port. I already streamed that last year. What about Gargoyle's Quest on the NES or Demon's Quest on the NES? Demon's Quest I wanted to save for a special time. Um, sorry, voice. <laughs> you 
Yeah, I I literally don't have that much material to work with for this Halloween. Um, but I'll tell you this much. I do have a highlight reel that I planned for this coming Halloween that's somewhat related. So it can kind of make up for it. But for the time being, I'm just going to play what the fuck ever. Oh, wait, not that emulator. God damn it. No, you turn off. Close. Um, where is that son of a bitch? There you are. So I'm just going to play for a bit, uh, just some random game. And then eventually, Jay, I keep overlooking your question. Sorry. Let me scroll up a bit and see. Okay. Uh, how was your reaction to the season nine so far? Oh, you're asking me about um, uh, the series finale. Season nine in and of itself, I liked a huge chunk of the episodes. The only episodes I legit did not like uh, was kind of uh, almost near the edge of the season. Um, the episodes I really did not like were she talks to Angel because I can't stand Angel Bunny. Daring Doubt was the stupidest way to conclude any arc. The Daring Do uh, you know subplot was convoluted as is, but the the whole Aoizoto confessing that, oh, he does it because he's trying to protect the lands. My fucking ass. You're going to summon, you were going to summon 800 years of heat. Kiss my ass. I don't fucking believe that. Even with that artifact that forces you to be honest. They could have found a much better reasoning. Like, that could have worked much better compared to just like, oh, I was doing this because I was being a good person. Yeah, my fucking ass. You can shove that up your own rectum. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm reading voices text. Thank you. Yeah, no, Daring Doubt was fucking stupid. Stupid. Oh, God. Daring Doubt was one of the dumbest episodes in the series. I mean, I get it. You have to be open-minded to what some people will say. Oh, this was so fucking shoved down your throat and so like, yeah, okay, I need to get control of myself. So yeah, Daring Doubt, um, I didn't enjoy uh, She Talks to Angel, and there's probably another episode somewhere that I did not, um, did not like at all, and I'm trying to remember what, though. Um, I'll have to go through the roster again. <laughs> uh... Yeah, oh my god. What about Dragon Dropped? I actually I actually liked the bit of Dragon Dropped. Uh, the first bit of Rarity being overly dramatic and everything, like, it, it kind of, um, it kind of, uh, you know, overstayed its welcome. Oh god, Horseshoe in. I know what you're talking about. That was another episode that just got me really annoyed. Like, okay, up until that point, Trixie's annoyance was mildly, like, forgettable. Like... She did irritate me a few times in, I think it was, um, what's it called? Uh, to wear him back again. She used to irritate me on that one. And the many times she continues, like, saying her full name. The great and powerful Trixis. Shut up. Just shut up. But the, uh, the horseshoe in where she's constantly winking and winking and winking. It's like, we get it. You're doing it simply because you just want to work with Starlight and stay close to her. Stop shoving it in her fucking face. God. It, it just like... It, it, mm. So yeah, uh, that's three episodes out of 26. And watch. Like, I'm going to jinx myself and somebody's going to ask me a certain episode that I also didn't like. Stop winking. Oh, uh, J12K. I'm talking about in uh, the... The... the a horseshoe in episode where Trixie's trying to get um, a job at the um, at the friendship school, and multiple times she keeps winking at Starlight many many times, and it got very obnoxious. The moral does not apply with the scenario of Daring Doubt, and I think that's why the episode ended up being as bad as it is. Oh yeah, no, Daring Doubt was fucking trash. What about the beginning of the end? I like the beginning of the end. Um. 246 great. I understand why a lot of people took issue with that episode. Um, but I think it did its job in giving its message that you need to be more open-minded to things and not look down on something that you would see as a stereotype. Because the thing about cheerleaders is that they're often not appreciated as often as they should. Because even though they, you know, they perform during snack breaks or they perform during the half times, um, they can still give a good performance. 
And I like that because it does allow, you know, some people to be open-minded to things, and that's where Rainbow Dash's uh, character comes into play. However, in execution, it's questionably frustrating to watch because she's not given a crap. She's being so careless and letting others suffer to the point where even when she wants to, you know, kiss ass and make up, it comes to a point where it's like, is it even worth it? Wait, wait, wait. News. Wait, no spoilers, people. I haven't seen the ending yet. Don't spoil it for me. Dude, J12, you have access to all the episodes now. Like, the entire series has already aired. People have it online in many many places. Let's see, Trixie, I know what you mean. Wink, wink, me. Trixie, you just said uh, the wink, wink out loud. No, I didn't. Raise his middle finger. <laughs> Um, let's see. there's also the fact that Twilight sets up the whole conflict of the episode. Yeah, because she was predicting that stuff. I, I am willing to bet you that she learned a little bit of, um, you know, the, the trolling, uh, the trolling crap, <laughs> uh, from Celestia. Because back in season one, people used to call Celestia Trollestia, but really it was just little setups to keep the characters proactive. It's a bit of a risk at that. And they kind of established it better in uh, Celestial Advice, where she was pacing around wondering what's going to happen with Twilight. Um, see, I thought Chaos Pinky. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, what did I think of the finale itself? I actually really liked it. Um... The only issue that I have, and I know that Jim Miller explained his defense on the situation, I really did not like the twist that J12, I'm going to give spoilers here. You can watch it if you want. Um, Discord was Grogar the whole time. And that irritated me because that completely undermines the overall anticipation of what is being ex like what what is being hyped up now obviously when it delivers the hype it's obviously effective with the rest of the villains but this one big villain the end all be all was completely tossed out the window and it, you just feel like you got ripped off morpheus 246 great it's 246 hate oh my god Will you be watching the last EKG special on November 2nd for Christmas? Sure. Uh, you know, whenever I make the time for it. Um, I've had thoughts about whether or not I want to review that. Um, because, uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, give something out for the holidays. And obviously there's nothing else that you can I can, you know, offer. Considering I reviewed the rest of the Hearthwarming episodes. Which, I'm still proud of, you know, what I did. Um, I've seen a few people hate on the finale because of the twist alone. Okay, like, if that's really the reason why Jim Miller is given death threats, I think that's completely stupid. Because even, like, even despite the issue that I had with the twist, um, the rest of the episode was fun to watch. Let's see, what do you think about Steven Universe's future? I kind of touched upon that um in one of my previous podcasts so where the hell is it god damn it i really hate it when things are you know at a default setting here i am talking about what the fuck ever and i'm trying to look for you know all the games are stored there we go I'm just gonna play a mario game for the time being until you know is this on this time no, apparently not. I don't know why this keeps happening. Good thing I had this on a test run. Let's see, so what do you think about Cozy Gulateric and Crystal Turning to Stone? I think they get the punishment they deserve. They're assholes. I mean, despite, you know, the stupidity of Discord and what he was doing, he w also wanted to see if they were redeemable to begin with. And seeing that they aren't, you can kind of piece it together. So, at that point, it's like, you know, you guys are, you know, ranging, you know, raving havoc and chaos. Like, literal life-threatening chaos to, you know, the land of Equestria. Something's gotta give. 
And I think that's a legit prison for them. They can't, you know, escape, like, they can't escape out of bars. They can't, you know, manipulate any guards or uh, create little, um, you know, little tricks up their sleeve because the guards in general are stupid. You didn't send a question. Okay, I can't read everyone's questions, especially if I'm playing a game. Just wanted to play this up here so that way people can, you know, be a little preoccupied with what's on the screen. Cover the stream. Oh, that's right. I didn't start the call yet. Okay, now I gotta see what was. Let's see what your question was, Knight. Let's see, are you gonna see Crimson Fang's? F um, wait, what? I think that was an important question. Sorry, I'm doing a couple of things. Okay, here it is. Are we going to see Crimson Fangs return this Halloween? This year, no. Uh, there were some plans uh, made, um, but unfortunately it's been put on hold because I have to wait until others are ready. I'm not going to go into the details because um, it, it's it's a lot to explain. And not to mention, uh, there's, there's a bit of frustration that's going around. But, you know, I'm not going to... I just, I, I just don't want to stir up any, you know, any problems. So, I'm just going to leave it as is. But, I still have plans on working on the Crimson story. Because, obviously, that's been out there for a while. Um, there's just other stuff happening. And, yeah. I, I sometimes, sometimes trying to do a couple of things at once, or multitask, can be a bit of a pain in the ass now I want to make a uh, fan art of Crimson Fang well go for it do you think Pinkie Pie would have been a better cheerleading coach I think uh, Pinkie Pie would have been too uh, like easy of a job to be a cheerleading coach when you think about it um, either that or she'll just like make too many references to like sweets and stuff Pre-show is still showing. Yeah, that's because we're still on the pre-show. MRS, if you don't know who Crimson Fang is, um, take a look at my Scaremaster review. Let's see. Golden's alternative side. Turn to stone is more fitting. Golden, start a call. I did start a call. Nobody joined in. Are you not cool with it because they might go too far with what they would them for? Flutterstar, I, I, I can't understand your question. Mind if I join the call? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I clicked the wrong thing. God damn it. All right. See if I could bring you in here and hopefully the call won't go to shit. And I just whoa 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 hold the fuck on. Um let me change the audio here. Apparently I've got the wrong speaker set. Why is everything set to default? <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? Well now that that's set up, at least I know that's a thing. Well, apparently. <laughs> God damn. Well, with me in the call, it'll be easy for me to look at the questions for you. Yeah. That's why it's nice to have company. You know, or when Bliss reads it out loud. You know, shit like that. Yee. Yeah. Let's... Oh, you shut up, Magical Star! <laughs> what did Magical Star say? <laughs> I hear the giggle of Kieran. Oh, well, he he's not wrong. You... You're a giggly bitch by nature. I can't help it. If you were in one of those don't laugh contests, you'd lose in the first second. Um, not if I'm actually going to show my competitional side. Because <laughs> I, I do show some willpower in those. Watch, you're going to be like, watch, I'm going to show my competitional side. One second later. Ha 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 
depends. There's not there's a, only a select a few things that makes me laugh. Some of the Vine videos are really not. Oh one fucking of the hell! <laughs> what did <laughs> you messed up? Just 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 give yourself a bit of time before you read um read off the chat. Uh oh. Not again. Yeah. Guys, this is in Flissy. This is Lucky. Jesse. Lee. And I've been booped. I have been booped by the gamer girl. Courtney bo booped my nose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> Courtney booped me. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Get up there. Uh, you didn't miss anything yet, uh, multi-marked. Golden is still in a pre-show, so he's just... Getting yeah. everything ready. He's just trying to start off slow with this one because there was not a lot of Halloween related games that he. That like, he I know there are titles out there that I would be recommended. Like, there's uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I still have to get the game for that in order to uh, actually play it. Right. Um, and for the most part, like. I guess you could say that I can't be, really be bothered. Like, I don't really feel as enthused with the Halloween. But I will tell you this much. Um, some of you may already piece it together. Um, I've already released the, the recent highlight reel with Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> and I was really... I, I'm glad people love it. <laughs> I know I did. I couldn't stop laughing. Well, that's because you'll laugh at anything. Well, uh, the mainly like the ones that really got me hard was when Ellie's freak out over how you were playing Pokemon right. I'm like, God, take poor Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's her Tetris uh, equivalent. <laughs> Pretty much. That's like when uh, I don't think I have a lot that actually triggers me as bad. Like I don't get that easily triggered with games. I noticed. Like, huh? I guess I don't have a bad OCD on games that I thought. <laughs> Thank you for uh, hosting the stream. I just realized, uh, uh, Magical Star. Uh, I mean, I just realized because th there's an annoying thing that happens on OBS, and that is, you know, with the alert box, and you have it in the what is it called, the studio setup. You have the preview screen, yeah. and then you have um, the actual like on-air screen thing. Um, if something goes off in the alert box, the sound comes from both ends, and it echoes like each at a time, and it's really echo, annoying. Echo. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I also Courtney, I am doing fine. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> yep, that's right, Desert. The kid was in the was in the highlights. <laughs> what was in the highlights? My daughter's OC. Oh yeah, little sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine, lady box away. Clap your hoofs and do a little shake. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure she does that. <laughs> so that would be so freaking adorbs and all the freaking self-destruct yeah <laughs> no i still stand by the claim that whoever designed that fucking move in all of pokemon is an asshole because I agree. That was, that's like a major jerk move yeah no it's a jerk move like some people try to make the argument that it's like oh maybe you use that if you're taking on a gym leader and the rest of your pokemon couldn't stand them then train your pokemon better yeah, get good. Yeah, it's called Jesus. get fucking good. Using self destruct is just a cop out, and it completely disregards any. Move. It also disregards anyone's ability to gain any experience points, especially if you're using a powerful Pokemon. So it's better off that you actually <laughs> train your Pokemon and grind them for points so that they'll level up better and you'll get stronger, better, and you'll be able to make better progress. Oh yeah. So, as I say again, whoever designed the self-destruct move is a dipshit and an asshole. It's just, yep. it's troll, -lo 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 -lo, no one wins. That's really all <laughs> what that is. And when I see the what? wild Pokemon are doing it, it really makes me sad on how they rethink their lives when they're, you know, pulling out this move. And I just plummet it to my own doom. <laughs> Um, gamer. Okay, Courtney had about saying they have a have a self destructive personality. Self destructive. <laughs> Courtney, you seem to be on a bit of a roll this evening, aren't you? <laughs> also, uh, J Prime is also asking. 
and this is not Blissy J Prime. This is Lucky. Get your shit together, guys. But they were asking if we knew Yugi Brony and Crimson Glow. I have actually followed uh, Yugi Brony's content, so yes, I am very familiar with his work, and I know Co uh, Crimson Glow because I know she and the editor are dating. And I've watched his content all the time, so yeah. Courtney, of course you're not fucking sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I was just re responding to the fact that I do know um, Yugi Brony and Crimson Glow. I know those two... Okay, to answer this person's question, why do people confuse Jesse with and Blissey? It's because many of us, it's because we're like one of the few people who sound very closely the same. If it really helps, um, give a love God, don't be sure. Okay, guys, Jay's not really being a jerk. He didn't know about the differences, so don't, don't take, don't get vicious to him. Yeah, don't get at him. They did, they weren't able to tell the difference. Yeah, I can it's tell. It's mainly because. Good. I was gonna say, like, the reason why people confuse me and her is because our voices are kind of similar. The only difference is one of us is a higher pitch voice in comparison to the other. And you have a heavier laugh than Bliss does. I do. <laughs> I have a very big, I have a very loud laugh. <laughs> I, I try, I'm trying not to laugh so loud. I can't help it. Well, I sometimes have to keep myself a little more quiet whenever I'm, you know, live streaming because apparently the walls of my apartment are hollow and Chrissy can literally hear me on the other side in our oh, bedroom. Dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. That that is a problem. Mm-hmm. Especially when, you know, she's up for, you know, napping a little because she's at the computer, she's a very busy bee. And the last thing Easy. she needs is for me to cur like curse out loud. Over a game that I'm getting frustrated with. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Equestria guy. Um, because of the fact he took the warp zone, he pretty much got to World Eight really fast. And yeah, the game, the World Eight is actually not really that hard. Yeah, no, like I've pretty much known the game by heart. I'll tell you this much: if one day I choose to stream this game, I'm gonna go the old-fashioned route. Do it. That'd be perfect. Yeah, My without doing game. any warp zones. Yeah. Fun Cause... fact, my sister used, my sister would play this game too when we were kids, and she would do the exact same thing. Warp Zone? Yeah. The moment she figured out she could do the Warp Zone, she started taking advantage of it. <laughs> well, like, at this point, it's become, oh shit, I went and just like, I fucking ate it. I dove right into the lava pit. But no, um, every time I played <laughs> this game or Mario Brothers 3, it's become such a nasty habit to where I just literally just, like, yeah, I could just do Warp Zone. Like, I just do that multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> that was a pitiful... Oh God, God damn it! Oh, my God. <laughs> you saw it, too. <laughs> if, this, if this turns into a drinking game, everybody's gonna get fucking hosed. <laughs> Unless you drink... If you're not drinking beer... Which I'm not. I don't know. I don't drink beer. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be going down a certain pipe. God dang it, Johnson! That's Sans' job! Don't take his job! You're having a <laughs> sensational time. I don't even know what you're referencing. And I just zoned out again. Sans the, Sans the skeleton. Yeah, I know who Sans is, but it's just like, since when the fuck were we talking about, uh... Because, um, because Courtney kept... Throwing puns, and that's Sans's thing too. That's not. Sans is not the only character who makes direct puns. I know. It's just something that everybody recognizes the most. Flaming bath from Mario. Oh God. Oh, that's a terrifying thought. Nope. 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 No, you want to know what's a terrifying thought? Um, if you ever watch Dorkly.com, there's one where um, it's become such a wide um widespread video that it's been parodied a few times. It's called Mario Goes Berserk. Oh, I think I've... Yeah, I've seen that one. She, he like, literally oh, grabs an axe, ch like, chucks it at Bowser's head, decapitates him, um, yeah. and does so much fucked up shit. I'm like, uh, uh, okay! At least this is better than, than the one about Mario being racist. 
Um, I'm afraid to ask about that. Okay. To explain that one, it was about when, um... Oh! The, 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 I fucking the, ate that playing... one. Whoops! They, uh, they were playing... It was, like, the scenario in Mario Kart. And then, along with them, there was, like, some of the Sonic characters and such. Mm-hmm. However... Mario, in this one, did not take that so well, and he literally kills one of the Sonic characters, a.k.a. Knuckles. He kills Knuckles! And in, then he pretty much goes crazy mode. Donkey Kong, Yoshi, heck, he even aims for his own freaking brother. Yikes. Yeah! It wasn't a... T <laughs> it, what... Stopped him was Kratos. <laughs> Kratos started chasing him in the game. Like, okay, now I know this. This is complete stupidity. Why? Why this guy? Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What Desert Samurai said. That's basically what Mario ended up saying. You are not pre Nintendo. You are. Pre Pretendo! Pre oh, ouch. Wow, that's yeah. terrible. That's basically what happened tomorrow. He went flippin' insane. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Hang on. I played this... Hang on, what... So what pun reminded you of this, Jesse? Damn, I what? fucking hate that one. That's right! That's the time I also... Dropped, uh, in, in that one, Mario even dropped the N-word bomb. Oof. Yikes. Yeah! It was kind of, it was like one of those games, like, uh, I don't think I like this. I don't think I like this. I. This is why I never really like people who try to make Mario look like a major jerk wad, because this is like, Come on, guys! It, it, it becomes it. unfun. It, it doesn't become fun afterwards. Yeah, it slowly becomes very redundant and really annoying. Mm-hmm. That's just me, though. I know many people would still find it funny. I'm like, not me. I just don't like this idea anymore. It's, I don't like it, it either. Slowly, so. it, it slowly really, becomes stupid. Yeah, it really all depends, and it's a little delicate on what you work with. And mm -hmm. let's see. I think it's time I get started on playing an actual game. So, um, there's already a handful of games. It's mostly going to be NES tonight. Firstly, because it's easy because I already have the um, the live setting up. Um, firstly, uh, it's easier to play through. And second, it doesn't use as much CPU as the SNES emulator does. Um, and unfortunately, that's, you know, that's restraining me from what games I do want to play. Because you noticed that recently, whenever I was, you know, playing um, any uh, Super NES games, there was, like, a lag in the call, and it was getting frustrated throughout this year. Yeah, I did notice that. I don't know why, but whatever. It is what it is. That reminds me, like, how do you think it would be when you do the uh, Game Boy Advance-related games on the emulators? I don't think there was any legit issues on that one. Because, like, I know you mentioned that you were going to plan on playing Minish Cap, and I'm like, oh, wait... How is the lag going to be in that one? Oh, dear. Because um, that's what I was mainly, like, worrying about, is, like, if the lag's going to really mess up when you play Minish Cap. There's the sheet. Okay. <laughs> I've got, like, so many different sheets on what games to stream and play. Ooh, I know a game I can also try afterwards. I don't expect to make any progress, but I'm sure it'll be funny in some way. It's another NES game. So, um, let me what go ahead and transition it? this and uh, get started on actually playing a game. What game is it? What are, we what are you playing today? Uh, I'm going to first do Paperboy. <laughs> Paperboy? Okay, I've heard that name. And like, what it is a, it is a frustrating game. I remember playing it on Game Boy and trying to make some progress. So Gosh. Hi, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look um... out, guys! Riley's in the call. <laughs> what the hell you doing, my old chap? <laughs> God, 
Those we, go. we have to give you the birds and the bees. <laughs> Riley, down. You'll see, Maxie. Down, boy. <laughs> down, boy. You're down. bad, though. Yeah, no. You're no, bad. You know, dude, you're cutting out like fucking crazy. Please. Sorry, is this no a more. PG-13 chat? No, it's not a PG-13 chat. Do, 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 do. Hey, Hello? Oh, I lowered the freaking window. Whoops. Oh, that's... Whoops. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> and my phone went straight to a freaking ad. What the hey, Twitch? <laughs> oh, I clicked the uh, play ad. Apparently there's a feature on here where it runs an ad and it's supposed to create like a little ad revenue on here. Um, oh, yeah, like the, I think that was a bit on a like a bit of a personal instinct of like, oh, yeah, well, I'm doing a little transition. Let's play a little ad and add it's like a commercial. From... Yeah. What do you guys do? After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, that's something that will never leave your head. No, especially if you've been around in the 90s. Mm -hmm. If you were around in the earth in the 90s and you watched a lot of Saturday morning cartoons, that is me in a nutshell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, boy. What are you guys up to? Streaming. Mario... He's oh. gonna play a play boy, a paper boy. <laughs> Did you say playboy? <laughs> I said paper boy. Oh my, Jesse! I, I'm I'm so I mean, shocked by your. I mean, no, if I if I if yours. I you know you know I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> of course you don't mind. <laughs>